Hello friends and today we are going to study a new property. It's a differentiation property but we are going to differentiate this function in time domain. There are two differentiation properties. First of all we can differentiate the function in time domain also as well as frequency domain also. So today's property is time differentiation property of Laplace transform. So let's see what he said. The statement of time differentiation property is if we differentiate the any time signal x of t with respect to time t then the resultant is answer will be in Laplace domain that is x of s but we need to multiply that x of s by a simple s. How? We'll see why we need to multiply this why the result is s into x of s let's see the first of all statement of this time differentiation property is a laplace transform of d by dt of x of t what is mentioned differentiation in time domain that's why we are differentiating with respect to time t which function is going to be differentiated a time signal function but the resultant of this laplace term is nothing but s into x of s this is what we are going to prove so let's see how this proof is going to place definition of inverse laplace transform is x of t which is nothing but the laplace inverse of x of s and it is given by 1 upon 2 pi j these are the limits of s which varies from sigma from minus j infinity to plus j infinity this infinity value of omega these are the values of omega and sigma is my real term whereas omega is my imaginary term and i have kept imaginary term varying from minus infinity to plus infinity whereas my real term is constant now this x of s term is going to be multiplied with e to the power st minus st it comes in laplace transform in inverse laplace we will write it as a s into t and in laplace transform we differentiate with respect to time where in inverse laplace we differentiate with three sorry integrate with the s so now what we are going to do we are, i am going to differentiate both these sides with respect to time so this side is also differentiated with respect to time and this side will also get differentiated with the time so what i have written d by dt of x of t is nothing but d by dt of this whole term 1 upon 2 pi j integration of sigma varies from minus infinity to plus j infinity x of s into e to the power st ds now out of this which term will be differentiated get differentiated the term which carries a value or variable t in this whole part only this part is going to be integrated so that we can directly differentiate this term e to the power minus st so let's see what will be the result of differentiation we studied one differentiation uh, term uh, or you can say the rule a differentiation of exponential term is always exponential whereas the power will be in multiplication of exponential term like if we have e to the power a t and if we are differentiating with respect to time t then result of this uh, differentiation is a into e to the power a t the power a will be multiplied as it is if the a value is if the power is positive then this product is also positive if the a is negative that power is negative then result and product will also having a minus sign now look at here here we have e to the power st where s is positive so after performing differentiation what you can say s will comes out and e to the power st will remain as it is now i can say that this whole integration is depends on s so this whole part can also be integrated so what i'm going to do i'm going to keep this s with respect to x of s i'm going to consider this s into x of s is my input so i have written this whole term into bracket though s into x of s is nothing but e to the power minus st dt ds now this is marked as a equation number two the reason i am going to compare this equation with my definition of inverse laplace transform now after comparing this equation with definition of inverse laplace transform what will we get let's see so just comparing what you can see that s into x of s is my input so that's why s into x of s is my input which is going to be transformed in time domain that's why i have written a laplace inverse so just 
I'm performing the reverse operation. If I take, if I find the Laplace terms of d by dt of x of t, then this Laplace inverse will get cancelled. So just the same thing I'm going to do it over here. The Laplace terms of d by dt of x of t is nothing but s into x of s. This was just a comparison with the definition of inverse Laplace transform. Now, this is the proof. But one thing that you need to consider or you need to remember, if the order of this differentiation is n, then the order of this s is also n. So look at here, in general, Laplace transform of differentiation having order n, and which term we are going to integrate? A time signal that we are going to integrate. The resultant will be s to the power n x of s. Means what? If we have with the second order, then the power of this else is also 2. If the order of the differentiation is 3, then order of this or power of this s is also 3. So this is how we are going to prove the time differentiation property. Now, the next property that we are going to prove a frequency differentiation. So, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.